Today we're looking at text structure and procedural writing. What is that? The steps that have to be followed to complete a task, the procedure. We see this in science class lab directions, cookbook recipes, travel log walking directions, and assignment directions for tests. And while they're very common, we do need to talk about how to read instructions. This is going to seem pretty straightforward because it's very simple instructions. But think about it, directions aren't very long. To do well, you need to preview, read, and plan before you start a test question, or bake cookies. When previewing, skim and scan the words. This is allowing your eye to drift across the page without actively seeing every word on the page. Instead, you're focusing on keywords. Now in directions, this is really easy because keywords are action words, the things that are giving us directly what we need to do. Write, text, mix, check, create. From there, we're gonna take what we already know and prepare ourselves to read. You need to read actively and carefully. This means that you're focusing on every word on the page and considering what it means. But this also means we need to slow down. This can be hard if you're taking a timed test, but it really will help you in the end because you need to plan. I would suggest a graphic organizer to make sure that you're following all the directions, but it doesn't have to be super detailed. Just notes to yourself as you're about to take on, say, an essay. So let's look at what that would look like. Now, with directions, remember the first thing we need to do is preview. And the first thing I see are some of those words are in bold. So I can already break things up. It looks like I have both directions I need to write with and a prompt I need to respond to. Next, I drift across. I see the words write, read, decide, and proofread. So I have a basic plan of what I need to do. Next, I need to break down and read the prompt individually. Write an opinion essay about wearing school uniforms. First, read the prompt below. Then, decide how you feel and offer support for your opinion. Proofread your work when you're finished. And there's the prompt. Finally, I need to plan. So before I can plan though, I need to break down what I need to do. So I know I need to write an opinion essay about wearing school uniforms. I need to read the prompt and decide on how I feel about it, and then offer my opinion with support, followed by proofreading. From here, I can plan how I'm going to attack that. But not everything in life is a test. Sometimes it's making bread pudding. Now recipes tend to be broken up into much smaller paragraphs, but if it were, for chance, written out by your grandmother and really squished together, you would need to preview. Look for, say, the heating of the oven and how long this project's gonna take. Might also be important to make sure that you have everything you need before you start. Then can start reading. Okay, I need to preheat the oven. I need to grease a certain size pan. I need to mix together some ingredients and pour it over bread. And it's gotta sit for 10 minutes. I've gotta do more ingredients and pour that over the bread too, and more on the bread. And then I've gotta bake it. And then I gotta let it be removed from the oven and sit around for a bit. By then you can plan that if you need to go to the store for eggs, you know you need to go to the store. Just remember with procedural writing, these are the steps you've got to follow to make sure that your task is completed correctly, the procedure to do that. And the best way to attack, preview what it says, read it carefully, and plan how you're going to respond. Best of luck.